Stonewall Youth Drop-In Center started in 2003 on an empty lot. Now in 2014, it is a state-of-the-art facility for teens. Word has spread of the great work they do for kids, so director Perry Newfeld is taking his staff on the road in the most unusual way. We talked to the Arm of Rockwood. Uh, the Council of the Arm of Rockwood basically said we'd love you to do more in the, our communities in the outlying area. And so this bus became available from Beaver Bus Lines. It was the bus that ran from Selkirk to Winnipeg twice a day for years until it was retired. We got it. We developed it into a mobile drop-in unit. So we want to take a look inside. We've got, uh, there's a fridge, microwave, whole counter for concessions, a couple of booths that kids can sit in, uh, plasma TV with uh, video games, a uh, place to sit in there. But a lot of times when we go into a community, we go in not just with the activities inside the bus, we'll get a game of whether it's kickball out on a uh, baseball diamond or create a scavenger hunt in the community. Newfeld is definitely excited about being able to service other communities, but their initial goal for the program remains the same. Whether it's the bus or whether it's the youth drop-in center here in Stonewall, kids come all the time. Last night the place was just hopping. And what we find is that uh, kids love it when there's other people that care about them. And so then you find an opportunity to be able to just sit down and talk, see how their day's going, see what their needs are, and then you can help them. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Tracy Koga.